Yanya Tembi breaks from work on his rice farm to find water for himself and three wives who have worked for hours under the scorching sun. The farm is located a few meters from the stream, which is a major source of drinking water for the farmers. With his gallon, he cleans the surface of the muddied water and scoops the water. Later, he drinks from his hand. The gallon of water is sent to the farm to cater for the first of the family. The once clean source of water supply for the farmers is muddied by the invasion of sand winners in the area. The sand winners have created a pathway through the water body to reach lands beyond the stream. Fatis Myla is one of the affected farmers. One end of the stream is completely destroyed and unusable. This stream you see here flows through Fiano, Dumechi, into the orphan. Until now, the people here could drink this water. But after these illegal sand winners got into this place, this is what is left of the river. The people are unable to use it for anything. Pupils of Odumechi DA Basic, located a few meters from the sand winning site, were forced to drink from this contaminated source. Following an earlier report by Love News, the local assembly moved to fix the challenge the school had with their boreholes. Kwabre South District Chief Executive Christian Edupoku also assured measures will be taken to deal with indiscriminate sand winning activities. After about two months, these are some measures adopted to deal with the problem. We discussed the issues with them and we told them anytime they see those people coming around for sun winning, they should get me informed. I gave them my personal number so that uh, I can track them. Besides that, I met the uh, assembly members and the unit committee members of the town. Uh, we have also uh, decided to work around things and make sure that that activity ceases. Uh, I have also talked with the Oduku, uh, who is the, if I should put it, the caretaker chief of the place. A return to the area, however, indicates the situation persists. More than 15 truckloads of sand move from the area in one hour. An excavator sits on farmland digging sand for these vehicles. Checks reveal the new area being excavated was a new planted rice farm. Already, a huge acreage of farms has been destroyed by the activity. Yanya Tembi and his family are victims of the destruction. They have returned to the once degraded farmland, farming a portion which was not affected. But the sand winners are planning a return to the land. Sarah Yanyedi is wife of Yanya. Fatis Maila is struggling to return to farming after a 2,000 city investment on a three-acre land went down the drain due to sand winning activities. The local assembly claims the sand winners have no authorization to undertake the activities. However, a tow booth has been mounted to take levies from the sand winners. The continuous sand winning activities threatens agricultural production as well as clean water for the people in the area. For Joy News, Nanaya Ojima, Odumechi, Ashanti region.